It only happens twice a year, and this weekend marks one of them. Free fishing for both residents of Maine and non-residents. With nearly 6,000 lakes and ponds and more than 30,000 miles of rivers and streams, there are plenty of places to enjoy a day of fishing. New Center's Sebastian Benage brings us out to the ice for some fun. If you haven't gone fishing before, this is a great opportunity. It's super easy, super fun. I think people are intimidated by it, but it's actually a really great time. I'm out here because I live in Auburn and I was on Facebook and I just saw the event and I thought it looked like a lot of fun. I've also never tried ice fishing, so why not try something new on a beautiful day in the state of Maine? <laughs> Will, he's a young man who's trying to be a game warden, which I think yeah. is awesome. He is giving tutorials today here at Ring Pond, and he was showing us how to set up a trap and um, how to measure out the line. And uh, he told us that when you actually catch something, the trap will spring up a flag. And he said to be as loud as possible, be obnoxious, and uh, let everyone know that you caught a fish. It's, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's an unwritten rule. It's free fishing weekend, so they don't have any commitments. They can go check it out and drop a line and, and see. And a lot of people have come back up and go, wow, I didn't realize it was that easy. Well, I'm not originally from Maine, but I remember when I moved to Maine, it was such a big deal. Everyone would be going out to the lakes. You live in a rural place. There's not a lot to do in the winter. And I see a lot of kids here today, which, I mean, we're encouraging a younger generation to be healthy and get outside. and explore, try something that maybe they'll do for the rest of their lives. That was New Center Sebastian Benage reporting. Wardens always recommend using a chisel or auger to test ice thickness in several places before you start fishing and ice near streams, bridges and culverts can be particularly dangerous.